morning friends so today we will discuss conservation of baryon numbers and lepton numbers so baryon numbers and lepton numbers are part of the neo conservation laws in our last lecture we discussed various classical conservation laws even though many reactions which obey or comply all classical conservation laws were not ever observed in the particle world so based on the experimental results physicists formed neo conservation laws assigning novel type of charges or sometimes called quantum numbers based on which we can predict whether the reaction will occur or not so reaction obeying these conservation laws these neo conservation laws are said to be probable certainly they should obey the classical conservation laws always so reactions that does not obey these conservation laws are improbable so some examples for these laws are the baryon number conservation lepton number conservation strangeness conservation and like that so today we will discuss the baryon number conservation and lepton number conservation so please look this reaction this proton plus proton produces pi plus pi plus pi zero this reaction was never observed even though it does not violate any classical conservation laws that is this obey the charge conservation here the charge is two positive here is two positive so the charge is conserved and the momentum can be conserved the energy can be conserved and all classical conservation laws can be conserved but this reaction was never observed whereas the proton plus anti proton that is p plus p bar produces the pi plus pi minus plus pi zero were possible and were observed many times from the similar reactions scientists concluded that some quantum number is conserved some special quantum number is conserved in these reactions and they named as baryon number by this conservation law each baryon is assigned a baryon number a is equal to 1 and each anti baryon is assigned a baryon number a is equal to minus 1 all other particles means all particles other than the baryons are assigned a baryon number a is equal to 0 similar to the classical conservation laws the baryon number is conserved in all reactions so we have already discussed this classification of the particles based on the fundamental forces so the particle affected by the strong force was the hadron this hadron was grouped into two categories 
hadrons, which are fermions, were the baryons. The hadrons, which are bosons, were grouped as mesons. So this is the baryon. So these baryons are assigned a baryon number A is equal to 1, and the antiparticles are assigned a baryon number A is equal to minus 1. So this is the some more clear classification picture. You can see this hadrons is classified into two, the baryons and mesons. Hadrion, have the baryons are the fermions having uh, half integral spins and mesons are the bosons having integer spins. So the baryons are, uh, again, we can classify the baryons into two categories, the nucleons and hyperons. The nucleons, that is the proton and neutron, and the hyperons means the baryons other than the nucleons, that is the lambda particles and the sigma family, that means sigma plus, sigma zero, sigma minus, and xi particles, that is xi zero, psi minus, and the omega minus. So these are the important members of this hyperon. So these hyperons and these nucleons, they form the baryons, and these baryons are assigned the baryon number A is equal to 1. And their antiparticles as A is equal to minus 1. And in all reactions, they are conserved. But these particles, means these mesons and the leptons, other than the hadrons, they need not obey the baryon number conservation. So the very important and fundamental consequence of this conservation is the stability of proton. So the stability of proton is concluded as a result of the conservation of baryon numbers, since proton is the lightest baryon. So disintegrating the proton, they will decay, they can decay into the lighter particles. So there is no lighter baryons. So they cannot decay without violating the baryon number conservation. That is why the proton is stable, completely stable. And the one of the other consequence and the baryons are created and disappear in pairs. See some examples. This P plus P gives P plus P plus N plus N bar. So this proton is baryon and this neutron is also baryon. They have baryon number A is equal to 1. Since this N bar is the antineutrino or the antiparticle of the neutron, they have the baryon number A is equal to minus 1. So on the left hand side the total baryon number is 2, on the right hand side the total baryon number is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus minus 1, that is again plus 2. So the baryon number is conserved and all other classical conservation laws are conserved, so this is possible, this reaction is possible and have observed many times. And this also having the same format. This P bar have the minus one baryon number. And here, <coughs> and here you can see that they are decayed in pairs. That means. This P plus P bar means P have baryon number A is equal to plus 1, P bar have minus 1. So the LHS baryon number A is equal to 0. 
and on RHS all particles are mesons so all have baryon number A is equal to 0 so on LHS and on RHS the baryon number is 0 so the baryon number is conserved and all other conservation laws are obeyed so this is possible and have been observed many times but this reaction you can see that here p plus p means the baryon number is plus 2 and on the RHS the baryon number is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is plus 4 that means the baryon number is violated and this reaction have never been observed One, one important point regarding the baryon number conservation is that the representation A, the capital A for the baryon number is because the fact that the nucleons are the baryons. For the case of nucleus, the neutrons and protons both are baryons and the baryon number will be in general the mass number A that is the total number of proton plus neutron that is why the name equivalent to the mass number since the mass number is now, represented by the capital A the number was also so similar to baryon number this is capital. concluded from the experimental observations that there is a similar conservation law for the leptons and they named it as conservation of lepton numbers and this is represented by the capital L and this is also conserved in all type of reactions all kind of reactions means all kind of interactions initially it was assumed that as a common lepton number L is equal to 1 for all leptons means for electron, muon, tau particles like that and L is equal to minus 1 was assumed for all anti leptons that is mu plus positron and like that but later it was clear that for each family of leptons there exists separate lepton numbers since you can see this reaction here by taking a common lepton number method the LHS has L is equal to plus 1 and RHS has again L is equal to plus 1 and this photon which is not a lepton so L is equal to 0 so the lepton number is conserved but this reaction is never observed so that is why it was concluded that there, there exists separate conservation of lepton number for each family of leptons that is for electron family the lepton number L is equal to 1 for the electron and its neutrino nu e and l e is equal to minus 1 for the anti particles that is the positron and this anti neutrino of electron similarly for the tau family the l tau is equal to 1 for the tau minus particles and their neutrino and l tau is equal to minus 1 for there are anti particles means or tau plus and their anti neutron. Similarly, for muon family, L mu is equal to 1 for mu minus and its associated neutrino, and L mu is equal to minus 1 for their anti particles. So, to conserve the lepton numbers. Leptons are also created and decayed in pairs. So, see some examples. So, the neutrino neutron decay, that is, this is the negative beta decay, 
that is the neutron is disintegrated into proton and electron and there is one another another important member in this reaction that is the anti neutrino of the electron this is actually to conserve the lepton number you can see here the baryon number is conserved since n have a is equal to plus 1 p have L is equal to plus 1, so LHS and RHS have the same baryon number, capital A is equal to 1. Then we have to see the lepton number. So on the LHS, there is no lepton, so the lepton number L is equal to 0. On RHS, there are two leptons, the electron and its anti neutrino. So the electron have L is the lepton number L is equal to plus 1 and anti neutrino have. L is equal to minus 1. So the total lepton number Le on the RHS is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this reaction is possible and this is the general beta minus decay or negative beta decay. And see this example here, this is the pi minus, which is a meson. So the one LHS the lepton number is 0 and on RHS you can see that this is mu minus and mu bar mu the anti neutrino associated the, with the mu that is for mu minus the L mu is equal to plus 1 and for this new bar the L mu is equal to minus 1 so on RHS also the L mu is 0 similarly for the decay of this mu minus see this is e minus so on rhs and both on rhs and lhs there are leptons on lhs there is the muon this mu minus which have l mu is equal to l mu is equal to plus one on rhs to conserve this l mu there is this neutrino mu nu mu neutrino of mu particles so the l mu or lepton number of muon is conserved and there is also the electron particles electronic lepton so the le is also need to be conserved on LHS there is no electronic lepton so L is equal to 0 on LHS and on RHS on right hand side for electrons L is equal to plus 1 and for this new E bar or anti neutrino of electron L is equal to minus 1 so that is on RHS the net L is equal to 0 so they are also conserved and it is possible. And you can see one important feature of these two neo conservation laws that both are affected on the both are affected on the fermions. There is no such law for the bosons, that is for the mesons. So fermions can be created in pairs and anti pairs, and they, their reactions are limited by these neo conservation laws. Okay, thank you.